The price on the Tommy and Kate bag has gone down again. Julia in Coventry. Very nice cathedral. Well done. And Jean in Middlesbrough, the Purple Onion restaurant, always very popular. £18 now on this for Pat in Blythe. Uh, for Celia in Seven Oaks. There are some very good pantos on in Seven Oaks. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, no, they don't. Whatever you do, just don't say he's behind me. Thanks very much. £17. No, because that could give you a nasty shot, couldn't it, when you think about it? £17. <laughs> if that's happened to you, you'll know exactly what I mean. £17. If you want to get this most wanted bag now, it's got lower and lower and lower. Uh, let's look at it now on sofa at £16.99. Uh, let's take advantage of this. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Super sofa, there it is. Oh, have you got some news I've got, just I've got in? Some, oh, news Which just in. Which shoulder do you want that on while you're doing it? I'll go one. for this one here. Okay. I'm going to do an elbow, quick at the elbow You're going job to do an job. elbow. Good luck with that. There we go. Whatever you're on about. <laughs> there you go, look. Oh, darling, it's one of those. Nice, well done. That's what you mean. <laughs> We've got one here from Christine Hayward. These Best Buys, by the way. She wrote in, said, I received my 20th handbag from you and my Tommy and Kate leather bag is my favourite. I love it. 20th? 20th. Well, I tell you what, I've got loads of handbags. Uh, also, we've got one here, Monica Aitken. Oh, heck, this is a long one. It's a whole page. That's how happy she is. She right. wrote a whole page. She says she's got a whole drawer of handbag you heaven. You're not all out, are you? No. Oh, good, thank you. Right. Sue Bagnall. Uh, last right. one. She said, uh, your bags are fantastic. Sue Bagnall. Sue Bagnall. Or is, mean, that Bagnall? is that a stage name, do you think, or what? <laughs> it's a good stage name, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I think James's name's a stage name. James Russell. Who would have two first names? That's just weird, isn't it? He's made that up, hasn't he? That is... It is, isn't it? He, he, I bet his name's something like Bert Metholmanroyd or something like that. <laughs> I bet it is. Metholmanroyd? Well, who do you know who's got like two first names? Sounds like you need a cream for that what one. What is that? You know, Gary Davis. You know, clearly <laughs> that's not a real name either, is it? You know what I mean? Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. Carry on. James stood over there now with his arms crossed. Oh, he's back. Right. He's gonna, he's gonna... <laughs> one more quickly. Um, Sue Bagnall has loads of colours from us from Tommy and Kate. She says she Bert. loves him. Yes. <laughs> now, you hear my hooter. What are you doing with that? What a weird position. Um... I quite liked it, really. I don't, I don't know. Um, the details have gone off the screen, and they've gone off the screen not because of Bert Metholmanroyd, no. He is coming up in just a second. <laughs> the all-new Bert Metholmanroyd show, coming up shortly. No, not, not because of that, but because a lack of demand on our most wanted bag turns out tonight it's not quite as wanted as we thought it was. And on that basis, we're a live channel, we can either put these back in Bert Holman Roy's warehouse or we can say no, we'll reduce the price and make you an offer that you can't refuse. Stand by, get ready, nay brace yourself and think of England, this'll be good. Oh, 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 and all of his friends. Quickly, 14 99 You get this now for 14 99 Oh my giddy am, everybody, Maureen included, 14 99 Judy, Harry in Stockport, where they've got a, a hat museum. Very good, you can see it from the train track. 14 99 Maureen in Durham, where the bishop lives, 14 99 Well, um, some beautiful pieces coming up. Um... Have you now got contour pillows for your head yet? Have you got those? No. I'm not yet, and you said to me that I need to, but I'm always yeah. on air when they're on. Well, they're on air tonight. You could quickly put a little uh, cheeky pre -bid on the web. The website address will come up here in just a second. They're on the way around about midnight tonight, and James has got them. Uh, but, unfortunately, we're not allowed to call him James anymore, as it's been revealed on this <laughs> channel. His name is Bert the Solmanroyd, and he's on the way next. Well, we've got, we've got to wait for Sophie. I'm coming! Take your time. I can't believe you went the long way round. Uh, before we start, thank you so much for Andy Hodge. What a great job he did. Hello, Bert. How are you pickled? Don't, Bert! Do I look like a Bert? <laughs> Don't answer it, please. Uh, how are you? Wonderful to see you. I really hope you've had a lovely day, this bank holiday. I hope you've spent it, as you should do on a bank holiday, uh, pottering and eating excessively, mm. which is basically the reason that bank holidays are there, to have yes. a bit of a potter, an occasional tinker, mm. uh, and basically just eat lots of food. That's mm. what I've done today. I've had six rounds of toast today with Marmite. Oh. Other uh, yeast-based spreads available. Mm. Shall we have a look at what's coming up for you tonight? I've got an amazing night for you. Shall we have a little peek? Uh, we've got the jewellery extravaganza, which is uh, for the first hour or so. 